So we decided to try a new recipe, tikka masala. I asked Jada to wash the chicken and the rice, and this is what she does. Uh-huh. For the chicken, I just did some breast tenderloins. I cut up some red peppers I had, um, some white and red onion, and I seasoned it with my regular seasoning. Um, I didn't want to season it too much, being that the tikka masala sauce is very um, seasoned. And then, what you said? Um, I have some rice cooking away, and I'm gonna serve it <laughs> with some garlic naan. So, hopefully it comes out good. I added the tikka masala sauce and a little bit of water because I wanted like a thick gravy. And now I'm just gonna let it simmer all together. So from my Target haul, I got this reversible mattress topper. I do need to get a new mattress, but I'm not ready to deal with the headache of that. So somebody recommended me getting a, ma a mattress topper. So I'm hoping it works out and it's one and a half. So we'll see. And then they had some cute little Halloween little towels for the kitchen in the, um, the dollar section. They were five bucks each. Happy Halloween with all the pumpkins. And then autumn leaves and pumpkin please, which is both totally me. And then I need some Drano for um, Jada's tub. Um, our hair obviously gets stuck in there. And then I saw this, which pump with pumpkin creamer, ugh, with pumpkin creamer uh, cold brew. I wasn't gonna buy into the hype yet with everybody putting you know the pumpkin spice out, but <sighs> they got me. And then I need some more almond milk. So that's pretty much it for Target. We stopped at the farmer's market that I like. And I got some plantain. I got some mangoes, um, some fresh baked um, bagels, um, red onion, yellow onion. I got some plums, a tomato, a plum that ran away, a yellow watermelon, which I haven't seen all summer, and then a regular seedless watermelon. And then look at this. This is a three fruit danish for $8, freshly baked. Oh my God, that looks delicious. So a nice cup of iced coffee, yes. And that's my little... So I just got a notification that I had a package, so I went and got it. And it's these cargo pants I got from Fashion Nova. And I absolutely love them. Like, they give you a nice little shape but yet they're nice and baggy still. They are oversized. Um, I got an email from Fashion Over saying that I still had my gift card because like ages ago I had something and returned it and they put it on a gift card for me. And um, I've been wanting another pair of cargo pants, but like really nice ones. And I saw these ones, um, so I got them and they were only 20 bucks with the discount that the site was having and with my gift card. And I just love them. They have like these um, pockets that are actually real and then they have some full pockets at the bottom. Got in this dark green color and I'm just loving it. I also love how it's like capped at the bottom. But yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave the link below. They're not a new item or anything, so they should be available. But yeah, I love them. So one of my pretty little thing jackets came. It's this long line one. Um, I don't know why they sent uh, the jackets that I ordered separately. It's kind of annoying because I just want to try it on all at once. But I mean, I really like it. I wanted a long jacket since last winter, but didn't find one that I really liked. But I like this one. And I like that it doesn't have the hood because I feel like a hood with this long jacket would just be too much. And it has the button pockets, which are nice and deep. No inside pocket, which sucks, because I love an inside pocket, but I think it's cute. And it feels warm because I'm legit starting to sweat right now. <laughs> but I think it's so cute. Let me know what you think. So I finally got my other two jackets from Pretty Little Thing. This is the motorcycle jacket. I'm not sure 
if I'm feeling it that much. I feel like I could have went a size down. I got my, I got a bigger size because I didn't know how the jackets were going to fit. The puffy long one, I don't mind it being a little bit big because I want to be snuggled. But this one, I kind of want a little bit more fitted. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like I'll be able to comfortably, um, I just had a total brain fart, um, layer. Why was that so hard? But yeah, oh. I'm debating. This is the last one, the third one. I got these in a large because like I said, I didn't know how they were gonna fit, if they were gonna run small. And the reviews were kind of like all over the place. And it's been a minute since I've ordered from them. But I don't know. I like the jacket. But I think I might size down in both of them. I don't know. I might have to sit on this a little bit. Because, I mean, I, I like the puffer. But I don't want to look like the jacket's eating me alive. Then, oh, good. But it's really warm. And the material feels nice. I don't know. So my Zara package finally came. I did end up returning the pretty little thing motorcycle jacket for the one I originally wanted from Zara. Um, I could never find it in store, so I ordered it. And I'm actually really excited because this is my first um, package from Zara. Anything I ever got from Zara was actually from the store. So I don't know. I'm excited, but let's see. take it out so right off the bat i like it it's really cute i just hope it fits i did get a bigger size because i didn't know if it was gonna be made small or not so this so. is what it looks like on don't mind my parents i just finished cleaning my house and i'm sweating um but yeah see this was my my first choice this is why it's always best to go with your first choice so far i'm loving it i'm sorry about the lighting let me see if i can fix it real quick That did nothing. I don't feel like getting my red light, but here we are. And it has the belt and a little pocket up here and at the sides and one here. And I am loving it. Like I said, I did get, I think a size 10 to be bigger. Um, I wasn't sure. Right now it feels comfortable. I like my motorcycle jackets to be fitted, but also be able to wear like a chunky sweater or a hoodie underneath. So I'm gonna throw on a hoodie right now and see if it fits. Um, hopefully it fits the way I want because I really don't wanna have to return, go to the mall and return this and get a bigger size and go through the whole thing again. But let's totally see. Totally quoted the size wrong. I mean, it is a 10, but it's a large, just, in, just for reference. Um, and I do have my hoodie on. It's actually like a men's hoodie. So, and I actually feel pretty snug and pretty comfortable. So I think it's cool. I can actually pull the sleeves out more. But yeah, okay. So this is a keeper. Loving this. Um, and if you're watching this, this is a sign to go with your first choice. Mm -hmm.